How to get discovered on YouTube in 2020? Are you stalking in a niche where you can't grow? How to grow a YouTube channel? How to change directions from your channel? How to choose a different niche for your channel? How to make those changes without losing your subscribers? Are you a leader or a follower? What content do you need to create? What are casual viewers and how to get them? This and more we are going to discuss in this two-part series. So without losing more time, let me introduce you to the first part. Are you a content creator? Perhaps you want to be one. Or you are scared because the video is harder to produce or you don't know how to grow? There's one secret to growing on YouTube that I think would massively have an impact for most of you if you're a content creator. It's a secret that no one is talking about. And nobody else in the community ever talks about. I don't think anyone's ever shared it. I don't think most people realize that this is happening. I'm just gonna give it to you. Let's get started. I need you to do something before we continue. Subscribe like and hit the bell notification so you don't lose any new video from us. My name is Concarster and as a way of introduction to the video. I will explain what I do. I make videos with the idea of helping you create something awesome. I make videos on information, tips, and tricks that cause me three years of my life jumping from channel to channel and reading some books at the same time about the topic. Say that welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have another YouTube tips video for those of you who have no idea how to grow or how to start a YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, we talk about how to build your brand, how to create your channel from scratch, and how to grow an online business using YouTube as your starting point. If you're into that thing you'll want like and subscribe and be part of this community. Some of you might be familiar with my content for growing on social media whether it's Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Today we're talking about YouTube. I want you to understand that you could probably apply this same logic in almost any social media platform. I'm 100% sure, the most online business phrase that you hear on YouTube. Especially on these YouTube growth videos, all the time is. Make content for your audience. But, make content for your audience. What if you don't have an audience? Here, are another famous phrase. Make videos for people like you. Not bad advice right? Okay, let me ask you something. If you're a smaller YouTube channel, do you think you're going to grow by making content for the audience you already have or making content for the audience that you wish or desire? Think about that. When it comes to anything in your life, doing what you're doing right now probably can't only get you so far. Think for a moment. What you are doing? How can you improve? Are you playing a game that hundreds of others are playing? Are you talking about topics that others are talking about? Are you sitting in from of camera and talking for about 10, 15 minutes? No one wants to see someone talking for so long. You would have to raise your standards and change things dramatically if you want a dramatic impact or change in your life. This is what I'm going to tell you. You should do make your content with the assumption that nobody knows who you are. Make content that is accessible for people who don't know you, don't care about you, and have never heard your name before. That would probably help considerably. See what a lot of you are doing. If you're playing the Tuberlandia game, you are trying to do things that fit within the YouTube culture, things that you see a lot of people in the YouTube community doing. Things that you see your favorite content creators are doing. If you are doing that, you are wrong. That will never work for you thrust me. It will never work because those people are already established, and their place in the community is already secured by now. Many videos out there said, be yourself. But this is not a video about be yourself. Or is gonna be a video where I say the secret to success is being yourself. That's true on some level, you need to be original, and the only way to be original, it is to be yourself cause no one is like you. But it's true for a very specific reason. As an example, let's say that the core YouTube community is the 32 million people subscribed to MrBeast the biggest philanthropy YouTuber. Okay, if the community is 100 million people, the community is outnumbered by the average consumer, the casual viewer. Because while there are million people strong in the YouTube community among those core watchers, and even the content creators themselves, they're outnumbered by the billion people they're logged in every month. 
What are casual viewers? Another example. I have another small YouTube channel, where the main point of this channel, is to get their subscribers organically. I just upload videos around top 10 whatever I like, and let YouTube do the rest. Even in this video, I don't go to mention the name of this channel, cause I don't like the idea of sub per sub. Right now that channel only has 21 subscribers with 1538 views, but the channel is less than a month old, but the important thing here. This channel has 720 hours of watching time, and of course, 21 subscribers can generate all that time. So from where that time is coming? Casual viewers. Making your content easier to understand, making your content entertaining for those casual viewers, is not part of the internet culture, and not part of the YouTube culture. It is just a simple key to your success. Another thing. You would need to identify, who is the desired audience for your content? Some of you are making content with no idea who you're making content for. Some of you are just simple, creating content around a topic that you like. As an example, when you recoding yourself playing a game, you create the content around that game because you like, but it is not what you like, it is what like to your audience. YouTube is an entertaining platform, so for over everything, you need to create entertaining content for your audience, not for yourself. And that means you haven't focused on who your core audience is. You have no identifiers for your content audiences. You can't make something for everybody, it is impossible to create a video for everyone on Tuberlandia. As an example, at the beginning of the video, I let you know exactly for what audience I create content. I focused my creations around those relatively new to YouTube or those that like to start a channel from scratch, or need some kind of help to grow around a YouTube channel. That is my target audience, so I choose from those millions, those then want to have a YouTube channel. Those then want to create and grow a channel. Do you get the idea? You have to find out of those billion people. Who are your audiences? Who is your community? Where the content that you create fit? What kind of audience do you wish? And remember when you go fishing, you can't ever catch all the fish in the water. You are not money and for enders, you can't make everyone happy. But the best thing you could do. Never try that. Not even try that. That's the reason where people get frustrated, where people burn out and why people don't feel they can be themselves. Even some of the largest content creators are struggling because in many ways they are still making videos for the audience they have. Of course, you need to create content for your community, and the best way to do that is to centralize one single question in your mind. What kind of audience do you want, for what kind of people are you creating content? It's also possible that your audience could outgrow you if you don't evolve and reinvent yourself. Mr. Beast stating creating videos around Minecraft, but at some point, he discovered, that is not going anywhere, so he evolved and reinvent himself and also decided to shift where he was thinking he can grow. His interest and his personality were taken into consideration. Instead of staying locked into Minecraft, he desired to try something else, something that he can build, something that helps with his reputation. He builds something that people like, so this needs to be your main goal. Find what kind of audience do you want, and then create content than that audience like it. Many other famous YouTubers stating their career, playing games, or creating different content, that is not the same as the one they are creating today. What I'm trying to say here is simple. Don't be scared of trying something new, especially if you feel, that you are not growing as you want. You can gradually and slowly, introduce new concepts, that help you grow. Always remember, every one star at zero. Your YouTube channel's success partially depends on consistent, but valuable content for your audience is the key. Sometimes it's difficult to keep your channel full of fresh ideas for new videos. When that happens to you, it is very easy to find some new ideas and concepts, that help you stay up to date, on creating extraordinary content for your audience. You want ideas for new contents, you want topics that will like to your audience. I can give you right now, not only one but hundreds of ideas. Don't invest all your time and effort in your channel, divide your time between other people's channels, watch other people's videos, don't go channel by channel, watching a few seconds, and writing a comment like, oh yeah, I like it. I know this because I see many complaining about watching time, and I have a few emails asking for that, and I have two or three more videos. I don't know exactly, how many videos, were I talking in the subject, about many different ways to increase watching time, so my conclusion at this point. 
You don't know exactly where you going to find information that helps you in a video, maybe at the beginning at the end or in the middle, for that reason, don't waste your time, jumping from channel to channel, use your time the smart way. I will end part 1 here to keep the video relatively short. You are awesome. Need advice on growing your YouTube channel? Want more views and subscribers? Then join our channel. We can grow together. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you. Next time.